Sanjay Asananyake is a, an associate professor of medicine and an infectious diseases expert at the Australian National University in Canberra, and he joins me now. Thank you so much for joining me on the program. Now, we have conflicting studies on the drug's effectiveness. We have the success of one in the U.S., and that has led to it being made available there, but a similar study in China appears to have had less encouraging results. Who do we trust? Yes, look, I think we have to be careful as we go ahead with approving treatment for this uh, terrible virus. You obviously are aware with uh, the controversies and conflicting studies with hydroxychloroquine and anti-malaria treatment. So remdesivir, as we heard in the, uh, pr the promo now, is uh, a drug that was developed for Ebola and was somewhat consigned to the scrap heap before there was an interest regenerated during this outbreak. We had a study in China, a randomized controlled trial, which looked at the primary outcome being time to recovery, and those who got remdesivir did not recover significantly faster than those who didn't. The problem with that study was that it was underpowered. They were aiming to have about 400-odd patients, but because the study uh, ended or was carried out when China's outbreak was settling, they didn't get enough numbers. If we look at the US study that has just been talked about, it had about 1,000 patients. Something funny happened in that the original primary outcome was death, not time to recovery, and they changed that, which was a bit odd. But when they looked at time to recovery, there was about a 31% quicker time to recovery in those people who got remdesivir. So hence this uh, call by the FDA to use it in the emergency situation, although it hasn't been published and it hasn't been peer-reviewed yet. Mm -hmm. So just um, walk us through how exactly this drug works. Right. So as you know, we've got antibiotics, which treat bacteria, but we don't have many antivirals. And the antivirals we do have tend to be very targeted, maybe for one virus or so, like, like Tamiflu for, for influenza. But remdesivir is, has broad activity against RNA viruses, which is, makes it very interesting. And what it does is it affects an enzyme RNA polymerase, and that stops the genetic replication of the virus, so it can't make more copies of itself and it can't spread. All right, Sanjaya, thank you so much for uh, the, that analysis.